What's up everybody, it's time now to take a look at my package. Not that one, these two. So these two packages are from Illusionist. I've seen some stuff on the website that I wanted and there was a discount code, so I thought why not. So let's get them unboxed and have a look inside. So I'm going to start with this one here first because I know what this one is. I did all of the other stuff as well so I know what that is, but I know this one was sent separately, so I'm just going to get this out. So I've seen this um, on the website and on the Instagram and stuff a couple of times and thought it'd be really good to get up and put it in the studio and obviously it's a nice little check mark for it to, to go down and what this is, is a, uh, a checklist for magic tricks to learn so there we go, that's the cell tape of it and this is this here so as you can see here, this is 52 tricks to learn before you die here's the challenge, learn what you consider to be the best 52 tricks on the planet once you've learned it, performed it at least once, scratch it off Complete the challenge if you scratch off all 52 before you die. Tricks marked with an E are revealed from illusionist.com. So this one here, so you've got like two card Monty, the ambitious card, the biddle trick, the one coin routine, crazy man hands, card to mouth, the air can, double cross, everything. Coins across, triumph, spoon bend. So I'm going to hang that up and obviously work through that and it'll be nice to, to scratch them off when I've done them. But as you can see, I've got my me, uh, me card to mouth. That's a bit scratched off already, so I suppose that'll be one of the early ones I'll have to do. So now onto the other package. And I was surprised at how small this was, considering one of the items that I ordered was quite a, a large item, I thought. But uh, we shall see. So there's the one. So this here is the uh, motocross jersey. So this is the Hidden Ace Brace and Limit Edition team. And uh, I've been getting quite a lot of uh, baseball shirts and stuff, and I quite like the look of that, so I want to get that. I also got a, a black illusion Santa hat. Got the cat's paw. And also the uh, the Wes Barker second to none playing card shooter or playing card launcher. And also got some uh, some pirate coins as well. So yeah. So there's the illusionist black Christmas hat. So when I do some uh, Christmas videos. I'll uh, make sure I'm wearing that. There's also a cat's paw there, which is just like the the little hand. So it comes with a cat's paw and also a little uh, ball of wool. So and these are the pirate coins. So I got one of these and the uh, the gimmick coin in the, the magic set. So I wanted another three, so I've got four coins so I can have a mess around with some coin magic stuff because that's what I'm wanting to do in the future. And of course the... Uh, the playing card slingshot from Wes Barker. So there, it's got the second logo on. And uh, just connect all this up and I'll be able to, to launch playing cards in no time. So I'm looking forward to doing that. And lastly, the main thing that I wanted was this uh, motocross jersey. So this is here, the MX-6 Hero. It's a motocross jersey. So it's the Hidden Ace Racing. So it's got a Hidden Ace Racing there. And it's got various other different things on the, the jersey itself, which is an ultra dry. So on the arm here, it has the Hidden Ace Club. It's got Team E for Team Illusionist. And the other arm's got uh, Fame, Money, Glory. And then on the back, it has a lot of Illusionist and Illusionist related things on it. So we have the uh, Black Tiger Martial Arts Academy. So the Black Tiger playing cards. We have the Killer Bees Research Facility for the Killer Bees. We have the uh, No Secrets Kentucky Bourbon, the Blackwater Range, so we have that on there as well. We have the Cohort Casino for Cohort Cards. We have the uh, Republic Cigars and Fine Smokables for the Republic things. We have the Knights, which is the uh, the Knights playing cards, the Cross Keys Private Club, which is the playing cards as well. And then the partners with Team E, so Team Illusionist. So let's have a try. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. I think personally I would have gone a size bigger, but I did get 2XL, I would have gone for 3XL because I like them a bit baggy and a bit longer, but it's not too bad, not too bad. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the little unboxing. I'll do some reviews on different items and stuff like that, and I'm looking forward to using some of these for magic, especially the coins. I want to try to get into that more and do some more coin magic, so really interesting. And probably see this on future videos as well. It's quite nice, quite uh, quite light as well. So, yeah. Until next time, see ya.